Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. I want to show you a little update on my worms. This is my European night crawlers. And man, have they been just eating like little pigs lately. I got some uh, Perina worm chow, and I've been using that, and man, they just wipe it out. But let's give them a little look and see how they're looking. Oh yeah. And what I did do, I had read somewhere that they really like, like a corn cob. Well, they ate all the food on top. That's gone. But this is the corn cob I buried. Man, look at them. They're just really digging that. I mean, they're really just thick around that. <laughs> look at them. Yeah, they're really putting on some weight. They like this corn cob, so I'll stick it back in there and just lightly cover it. And I'm going to just put my food back on top again. I'm going to put my, uh, my, uh, that Perina worm chow again. And I just sprinkle that over the top here. And they just wipe it out every day. And I've got a, I got a, uh, take out a, well, I got this from a friend, so I wasn't really sure on the count, but I'm guessing probably about 500, pretty close to about 500 in this tub. Now, I'll miss this with my spray bottle, okay, I'll miss this so that it doesn't soak in, but it wears damp, and then I'll wet this newspaper again, I have a little sink. You can just take it in your sink and just wet it. They like to really get up underneath that. So we'll take a... So I'm going to cover this back up. And then we'll take a look at the red worms. Okay, here is the red worms. And I have them in my... Uh, I call it my escape-proof bucket. Where I put a hole in the top so they can't get out. And this, of course, has a rubber seal on it. You can see the rubber seal. And let's take a look at them little guys. See, they've sucked up all the food. And look at them. These red worms. They're really doing good. They're, this I just, I did a mixture of some leaves and some peat and a little paper. I had some bus bedding. Well, you probably got night crawlers with in bus bedding the paper type stuff, but uh, man, they're they're thriving in this. Pretty nice size ones. So I'm just going to put some more food on top of this too. They wipe it out every single day. It's just unbelievable how much they eat, and I'll just sprinkle that on top here too, and wet that, and then I'll. I have a little paper towel here, and I'll cover that back up. And then we're going to go in the house, and I'll take a look at the African Nightcrawlers and the Alabama Jumpers. Okay, I got these in uh, my closet. I have a little oil-filled heater in here. I keep it about 75 in here, because the African Nightcrawlers and the uh, Alabama Jumpers like it a little warmer. So I'm going to pop this off, and you can see... Why do I have a sock stuck in there? Just because I had an additional hole, this is going to be a pop bottle garden. And I decided to use it for worms. But you can see, boy, they're right up. Man, they are really going through this. Unbelievable. This was, the video wasn't too long ago. You've seen, but look at the size. See, they're putting some good size on them already. This is a video where I just, I just changed this bedding. And already, this was the uh, bedding that I had just changed. Remember I said I took this peat and I pre-sifted it? Well, look at it. This stuff is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know how much light you guy got in, in this bed. But unbelievable. How uh, just gorgeous stuff. So it was definitely worth now, I'll, have, I'll check this out and see how far down they've done it. They've actually ate it, but I'm going to sprinkle food on top of this, and I'll water it this, too. 
and then I'll be back and I'll show you the Alabama jumpers. Okay, here's the bucket I got the Alabama jumpers in. I probably wouldn't even need this because they don't crawl like the uh, African night crawlers, red worms, or the European night crawlers. They go tunnel down just like a night crawler and come out up at night and feed. Well, when I first got them in here, I put in this is some real decomposed leaves I had and some peat I put in and then I put in some uh, I had some bus bedding and I put that in there and then a, a little lime and uh, mixed this up and they didn't come up and hardly eat at all at first I had got some food with when I ordered the red wigglers I got some food and I sprinkled that on top and it took three or four days for it to disappear so they were starting to come up and eat at the top when I got this Perina worm chow and I had read about a couple guys that are experimenting with raising these indoors, they started feeding them with Perina worm chow and it, it started getting really good uh, uh, results. Uh, I've had the same. They're wiping it out every night I put it on here. I come back the next day and it's gone. So they are. So I mean, they've dug down in there. I don't know if I can get one to show you, but uh, there's a where is that little guy you can see there's a little one. Oh man look at him see see that's that that's a new baby yeah that is not one of the ones I got in the beginning so because uh, they were all pretty much all uniform so uh, they're they're obviously breeding in there and I had seen some pictures on these Alabama jumpers where I mean, thousands of them were coming to the top, babies breeding, and uh, pretty interesting stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to feed these and let them go to sleep. I just want to give you a little uh, update on what's going on, and as things go on, I'll, I'll stay right on top of them and give you some more updates. This is Larry and Brainerd. Ciao.